This is called the Indian talking stick. It was given to me by Indian chiefs after training them for several days. They run Indian nations in North America, the States and Canada. They even gave me my name, Bald Eagle. <laughs> it's authentic, specially carved, beautiful. But you could use a pencil, you could use a spoon, a conch, anything. The whole idea of it, and they taught this to the founding fathers, most powerful communication idea and technique I have ever found, ever. How many are frequently in meetings where you can just feel the hidden agendas operating? I always like to break that down fast. I always like to heal divisions in your own family. Two kids that are quarreling with each other. Just do this. You just go up and you say to the other person, you've got the talking stick. I can't say anything. Maybe I can ask a question to see if I do understand your point. But I can't make my point, I can't agree, I can't disagree. All I can do is communicate until you feel understood. As soon as you feel understood on your point, then you pass the talking stick or pencil or whatever to me. Now it is my turn. And you are quiet and you listen with empathy until I feel understood. As soon as I feel understood, I pass it back to you. Until you feel understood, then you pass it back to me. Now what happens is literally it transforms defensive negative energy into creative transforming energy. Here's why. When you really listen to another in depth until they feel understood, you are communicating their worth, their potential, you are affirming them. It is so therapeutic, so healing, that they cannot fight you. And they gradually become more and more open. Try it tonight with your loved one. You see two kids fighting? Just walk up to the smaller one and say, Honey, you've got the pencil. No one can talk until you feel understood. And then, as soon as you feel understood, and we make your point to your satisfaction, then you pass it to your older sister or brother. Just try it. You think it takes time? It will save so much time. And in your meetings that you go to, basically you say, let's agree to the simple grand rule that no one can make their point until they restate the other person's point to his or her satisfaction.